Hey guys, Ryan here for Bender Wind. Hope everyone's doing well today. We're here with our daily free pick. Uh, yesterday's daily free pick went exceptionally well. So to start the football season yesterday, we had Green Bay on the money line at plus 150. So I hope you guys got on board with that. I gave a really good explanation in yesterday's video, I think, about the psychology of NFL betting um, and how it's really important not just to bet, you know, statistics and trends and things of that nature, but really get inside, you know, the public's mind and Vegas mind and, and try and decide why, why, are, why is Vegas trying to get you to do what they're trying to get you to do? Um, I'm going to give, I'm going to give an example actually for today's games. And it, it's not a game that I'm going to recommend one way or another, but it's just something I want to say, like, watch out for. Okay. So I've seen a lot of people posting on, you know, social media or on the, the chat rooms already early in the morning, like Texas being a great pick, um, in baseball today, Baltimore, which is an atrocious team probably the worst in baseball. They're a favorite. They're a minus 135 favorite against Texas. And everyone's talking about, you know, value, value, value. Well, I can't really find much in terms of why Baltimore would be a favorite in this game. But the thing that jumps out at me is what I always say to you guys. If it looks too good to be true, it probably is. There's a reason why Vegas has made Baltimore the favorite. And despite tons of money, tons of money coming in on Texas, they won't move that line. That would normally be compelling enough to probably fade the public and put some money on Baltimore today, but I'm never laying 135 on Baltimore in any situation. So, you know, regardless whether Vegas wants money on that side, all I'm saying is with this bet, I'm not taking it. I don't like Texas. I don't like Baltimore. I'm just saying that's the type of game where you need to exercise caution and steer clear. Sure, Texas might win, Baltimore might win, who knows, but that's the kind of situation where Vegas probably knows something or has an idea about something that the public doesn't. So at 135, um, you know, it's pretty, in, uh, minus 135 for Baltimore, it's pretty enticing to jump on Texas because of just how atrocious Baltimore is. But that's the kind of game that we're not going to touch. And that's the kind of stuff that you got to look out for, guys. So the first instinct when stuff seems too good to be true, people want to rush out, throw money on it. That's when you really, really need to dig deeper. And, you know, there's each every team in baseball plays 162 games. So you imagine thousands of games being played every year. If you miss one, no big deal. Just move on to the next. Okay. Now that brings us to our game of the day, and our free pick today um, looks pretty good. So first off, um, the game is uh, Toronto and Tampa Bay. So Toronto and Tampa Bay. Uh, first off, we drew Bill Miller. So Bill Miller is uh, a profitable under umpire, meaning if you basically just bet Bill's games under, um, you're going to be a winner. He, he hits 55% of his games come under. So now when you combine, there, there's, certain, there's a group of under umpires um, as a collective. When you look at them as a collective, so I have a database of just under umpires. So when you look at them as a collective, and that's guys like, you know, uh, Culpa, Miller, uh, our buddy Vic Carapaza, hey Vic, um, they're under umpires, right? They're they're guys that typically, um, they have wider strike zones, they, they control the game a little more. So under umpires, if you combine an indoor stadium, an indoor stadium, what that gives you is a static environment. You're not dealing with wind, you're not dealing with other variables where, you know, balls carry further, you're dealing with a static environment. So an indoor stadium with an under umpire, you're going to win 60% of the time. Now at 60% of the time, that's a phenomenal number. Okay. So these combinations are fantastic. Anytime we have a, an indoor stadium with an under umpire, we're pretty excited about that. Now I'm going to go one step further and we have what's called super stadiums and super stadiums are just that they're super for us. And that that's under, there's a few stadiums out there where the trend is under regardless of the umpire. Even like, you know, when over umpires come in, um, we, we still like the under in these stadiums because they're, they're good environments. And Tampa Bay is a really, really good environment for unders. So when we take the combination of what we call a super stadium and combine that with an under umpire, if we're going back 10 years, you hit 67% of the time and you're not going to find any kind of bet 
or advantage where you're going to hit 67% of the time. So we like the under in this game. It's nine. We like under nine. And I'm going to mention one other thing too about it. So I think this game probably could have opened or gone to nine and a half um, just because of the pitching matchup. So both pitchers have an ERA over five. And that's the other thing too. Like to me, it's like, I don't think they could have opened the line at eight and a half because again, like, you know, it would have been way too lopsided. Like they're not looking to get killed on a game. Vegas is looking to get money on the side they want, but they're not looking to get killed if they lose. Um, but I think this game could open at nine and a half. And the reason it opened at nine is because they want money coming in on the over. So on the surface to a better that doesn't dive deep into this, they're going to look at the game and they're going to say, okay, wow, like, you know, you got um, two pitchers with ERA over five, lines nine, like that looks enticing, right? So, I mean, you're casual better. This looks like a game that, you know, there's going to be lots of runs generated. No, I, I think, you know, the, the situation here is right. Um, I'm happy to see the line at nine. It kind of reinforces, um, you know, my belief that Vegas wants money to come in on the over. So I, I like that. I mean, if it opened at nine and a half, I'd still be on the under in this game just because of the situation. But I would feel like, you know, that that's probably the correct line was nine and a half. And, um, you know, I wouldn't feel like Vegas wanted money on the over. But I do feel like they want money on the over because they know these numbers, right? They, they know this inside and out. Like, this is not news to them. When they set the line, they knew this. So anyways, guys, that's our play for today. We're taking Tampa and Toronto under nine runs. Um Regardless, I, I'm going to touch on one more thing quickly, guys, because I, I got some comments. So if you haven't seen my bankroll management video, watch my bankroll management video. It does not matter how much I love a game. It doesn't matter if I say there's a 99.7% chance of winning a game, which there never will be. But you, you have to stick to bankroll management, guys. That's like the absolute key, okay? It, just because like a game like this where I say, you know, it's probably you know, in the, in the mid to high 60% chance that a game like this could come in, stick to bankroll management guys. Okay. You can't, you know, start dumping money down. Like, you know, if you're, if you're a casual better, okay. One to 5% should be your max of your bankroll. So in a game like this, if you want to go four or 5% of your bankroll, perfectly fine with that. Um, if you're, you know, if, if you're betting significant amounts of money, um, you know, one to 3%, um, and if you're a pro, 1%, you know, vary that, you know, maybe one and a half. I'll probably put, in all honesty, I'll probably put one and a half percent on this game because I like it. Um, and, you know, the numbers look good, right? I, I think that, as I've already said, you know, I think Vegas wants money on the over. So I, I don't mind, I don't mind this going one and a half percent, guys. But it, it's when people get carried away when they fall in love with games that they really get hurt, guys. And that's not what I want to see. I want to see everyone, you know, enjoy this, make some money, learn as we go. And uh, that's it for today. So, guys, thank you very much. Uh, and as always, I hope you have a lucky day. Take care.